of your generation and why social movement there's so many social movements if i had to pick one that's going to be very difficult but again like i said equality for all because all movements are asking for one thing it's that they are mm. recognized as human beings as equality that they are equal to everyone in this world and if you ask me personally it's probably stop haitian hate because it's very close to my heart and that could be my family that could be my mother my father and it saddens me to even think about it so uh, we're joining that march and we're, we'll continue to do so mm -hmm. yep. and that was okay. last rule right then another one the last one. Oh, last one yeah the okay fourth question <laughs> ding 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 hey <laughs> did i say that already okay Right. Question number eight. This is fun. <laughs> yes, it is. If there are no rules in your life for one oh. day and you could be outrageous, what would you do? I would <laughs> travel so much. I would try to. Oh, but there's time involved, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, just for one only day. one day. For just one day. For just one day. I, I, I love traveling and I think that's something that I would probably we want to do and mm -hmm. if there's no rules i hope that i could travel to every single country in that day and explore the different cultures the different language the different communities and that everyone has to offer because each country is so different and unique and that's so beautiful what's the first country you would visit the philippines i've never been there <laughs> oh my god oh, you've come, never been to the before no and I actually went to high school with Rachel Peters. Mm -hmm. Oh. In, in Phuket, and she would always post amazing, beautiful beaches and sceneries. I love it. I really want to go. You went to the same high school with Rachel? Yes, I did. Oh, did you know that, Drew? No. No. This is the first time I found out oh, no. about it. I should have said that. What's the name of your high school? What's the name of your high school? British International, Phuket. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because she, her dad is British. Mm. Yeah. So wow. I think I think Amanda passed the Q and A challenge. So props to you. Bravo. Yay. <laughs> yeah. And, and before we proceed, uh, Amir, to the final word, I just want to give a quick shout out again to all the viewers. We're still uh, averaging 1.2 at the moment, and we, we wish we could read all your comments, but they're just. Yeah, um, so many keep on comment so, yeah, so many but thank you and thank you everyone special to our thai friends who have been uh commenting thank you thank you so, to all the thai yeah. friends yeah and thank so you now, everyone yeah. who um, are tuning in as well yeah yes, mm -hmm. so now um we're on to the, the home stretch of our interview unfortunately <laughs> um but um, yes. we want to know amanda because at, at miss university you're, you're not just the face um but also the ambassador of Thailand. So how will you introduce Thailand to the rest of the candidates? How will I introduce Thailand? First of all, I would just go up to them and say, Suadika, <laughs> because we are a land of smiles. But like I even said in my final question here at Miss Universe Thailand, the most important thing is to be myself because I was yes. raised here with Thai culture. I eat Thai food. I'm just as high as you can think. And I'll just use all those qualities and be myself to let them know, okay, this is me. And this is what mm -hmm. Thailand breeds. Yes. Yeah, and if, if, there's, yeah. if there's one Thai food that would best describe your personality, what would it be? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, I'll tell you my favorite food. It's a uh, Southern food. It's like a soup. It's mm -hmm. called Keng Som. It's very spicy. It's actually what I just ate today before I came up this time. That's why I was tearing up. It's very spicy, but every time I eat it, it, it reminds me of home in Phuket. And, you know, it's just a little that spiciness that I have to offer, I think. Yes. <laughs> Drew, before you ask the next question, Bong sent me a message. He want to know yes. what's your beauty secret. What is my beauty <laughs> secret? Getting enough sleep i knew it that is, my, that is my secret and that's what i do you know what do you know what i actually do this is something really funny but if i have work at 
5 a.m., 6 a.m., I start counting. I'm like, okay, what time do I have to sleep if I have to, for eight hours? Like, what time do I have to sleep yes. if I want eight hours? Yeah. Okay. That's a good, that's good, that's good. Same, no, same going, that's what I also do. Yeah. I calculate minus seven hours. <laughs> I can't do eight hours anymore. No? Seven. Oh. I can do 10 too <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> 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 Me too. So now going back, um, going back, uh, Thailand has consistently placed in Miss Universe since 2015. So what qualities do you feel you have that would help you keep that placement streak going? Mm, it's probably my perseverance. It's my willpower. Mm. It's not giving up. And I know that with hard work and perseverance, what your dreams are not far reach. So I'll just, I'll just yes. continue to do so and I'll continue to do every day with my best capabilities because that's all mm -hmm. I can do. Just do my best and yes. enjoy every single moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the next question, I'm not sure if you're aware, but the fans has tagged you as the queen of photo shoots because oh, of the I did many photo that. shoots, the, the many photo shoots that you, you've been re releasing every, yes. every week. <laughs> So that uh, and that that is probably because of the immense publicity and popularity that you have. So, but and, I'm curious to know what else can we expect from Amanda in Miss Universe? I'll just say it's gonna be very spicy, mm. and I just want you to yes, I'm bringing that that Thai flavor. It's gonna be spicy and just. Keep keep tuning in because I think that Miss Universe is going to be very fun and the girls are gonna bring their best and it's going to be amazing. Yes. I'm very excited. And we are excited for you, Amanda. Thank you. I'm so excited. Yeah. And before I ask the next question, I just want to know, um, have you uh I know that uh, your your batch already has a, a WhatsApp group chat, so who have you been uh, talking to among your uh, Miss Universe sisters? Of course, they're all such lovely ladies, and oh, the support that's on that group is amazing. Everyone's so nice, and we've been really helping each other. And I cannot wait to meet all of the girls and share experience mm -hmm. and learn more about their culture, their language. And I think that everyone has so much to offer. It's very mm -hmm. nice. can't wait. And what do you look I forward to? Sorry? Amanda, what do you look forward to the upcoming Miss Universe? What do you look forward? Honestly, just being there. Being there is already a dream come true. Like, if you told me that I would win Miss Universe Thailand a couple years ago, I'd be like, oh, okay. But <laughs> honestly, it's such a dream come true. The experience of just being there, meeting everyone. It's, it's, oh, I, I, I'm lost for words. It's, it's going to be so mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Okay. So now speaking, still talking about Miss Universe, where this is a pass or go question. So I type okay. in the comment. I type in the comment or private chat here on the stream, oh. and you have the option to answer the question or to say pass. So I'll give you time to uh, read the question. Okay. I think I'm going to pass. <laughs> okay. And I understand. <laughs> we understand. We understand. We understand. 